Hi, I'm John and welcome to the video. I recently bought the Tamron 150-500 to Super Telephoto Zoom for my Z-mount system. Over the last couple of months, I've been preparing a review of the lens that I'll be publishing later on YouTube. As part of that testing, I thought I'd do a quick and dirty review of the vibration reduction capabilities of the lens when mounted to the Nikon Z body. As part of this testing, I noticed that there was an anomaly when the lens was mounted to my Nikon Z8. So I don't waste anyone's time. The issue is isolated to the interaction of the electronic vibration reduction and the regular VR setting when shooting video on the Z8 body. As I began my testing of the image stabilization performance of the Tamron, I thought it would be more representative and repeatable if I were to shoot video rather than stills. So I chose the Nikon Z70-200 f2.8 as a benchmark and looked to shoot both lenses at 200mm. I initially tested the lenses with just VR turned on, which gave similar results but favoured the Nikon lens to my eye. When I turned on the electronic VR option on the Z8, I noticed a very different behaviour between the two lenses. When electronic vibration reduction is enabled, the image cropped in as expected on both lenses. With the 70-200 mounted on the Z8, EVR also appears to augment the lens and sensor stabilisation, giving a potentially smoother rendition. Now let's take a look at what happens when we mount the Tamron 150-500 onto the Z8 body. With the Tamron mounted to the Z8, turning on EVR cropped in the image, but the stabilisation was notably worse than with regular VR alone. I wondered if this was a bug with the lens or the camera, or whether it was the lens and camera combination. But before I set about testing the lens on other bodies, and different lenses on the Z8, let's just toggle the regular VR on and off at 500mm, with EVR enabled, to drive the point home. So first we'll test other lenses on the Z8 to see if the issue is broader than just the Tamron 150-500. to as we have seen, EVR works as expected with the Nikon Z70-200 f2.8. Next up I tested the Z8 with the older Tamron 100-400 f4.5-6.3, which is a stabilised lens. As expected, this operated just like the 70-200. I also tested the following native Z mount lenses. The 24-120 f4, the 24-70 f2.8, the 85 f1.8 and the 40 f2. All performed exactly as expected. The last part of my test was to try the Tamron 150-500 to on some other bodies. The first body was the ZFC, which doesn't feature IBIS. The regular VR in the lens stabilised the image well. When I switched the EVR on, the image cropped in and the image remained stable, all as expected. I then tested the Tamron 150-500 to on the Z6, which like the Z8 features IBIS. This time, the VR and EVR worked as specified. VR stabilises the image and adding EVR crops in and appears to further stabilise that image. So it looks as though the issue is a combination of the Z8 and the Tamron 150-500. to I repeated the test a number of times to ensure I didn't screw it up or jump to an inaccurate conclusion, but each time I reperformed the test, switching to EVR, when VR was already selected, resulted in a worse outcome. If you've shot video with this lens and body combination, I'd love to hear your experiences and whether I've overlooked something. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. 